हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑन द मेटलैब प्रोग्रामिंग रिलेटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट न्यूमेरिकल मेथड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर्ग नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ यू कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट द मेटलैब कोड ऑफ द रेगुलर सॉरी न्यूटन रैप्सन मेथड फॉर फाइंडिंग द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन माय सेल्फ वर्किंग इन द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स थापर इंस्टीट्यूट इंडिया यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी बाय इधर ऑफ माई ई मेल आई If you feel any doubt regarding the MATLAB programming, or else you can click on this link. You can find the other respective subject videos uh, related to this uh, MATLAB course or the MATLAB programming. So first, first of all, we will uh, uh, discuss about how this regular false, how this Newton-Raphson method will work for finding the root of the equation. So this Newton-Raphson method is used for all all those function which is right of the f of x is zero. Where f of x may be the linear or non-linear are there. Now, once you are writing this function, then the Newton-Raphson method is used, which is basically defined like this way: x1 that is a new root is x0 is my previous root, f divided by derivative. Where x0 is nothing but you can choose the any initial point, but make sure that the derivative must be non-zero. So this is the uh, mechanism for here. Also, we have seen in the last three videos related to the MATLAB code of bisection, regular falsy, and the secant method. What we have discussed in that, we have just changed here with the help of the bisection. Then it's a a plus b by two. Regarding the regular falsy and the secant, we have changed their respective formula. Again, we uh, consider the same example here, which I have used for regular falsy, bisection, and the uh, Second method, you can see this video. If if you missed all those remaining previous video, the link is given in the description part. Now I can solve the same problem. That is how you find the root of this function up to the four decimal places by using this time Newton-Raphson method. Now what we can do is our task is to find firstly the what is the maximum permissible error. You can see that in in this question it is given that you have to find the root correct up to the four decimal places. if on the other hand if someone ask you find the root of this equation uh, up to the error is say 10 to the power minus of 3 so this is the error but right now they are talking about the uh, decimal places now since it is given up to the four decimal places so you have to write n as a 4 because it's a four decimal now error is not given to you so you can tell you can assign as a maximum error how you can assign the maximum error is All of you know that in your theory class, this is one by two into ten to the power minus n. N is my decimal places. So if you substitute n is my four, it will give you five into ten to the power minus five because it's a point five. Once you are defining this, then what you can do in the Newton-Raphson method is you have to complete this table. What is the equation? This is the initial guess. Then you have to find the new root, then the function value at this point, and then you can check the error. So Initially, you have to set as the counter, so and the initial point x zero. So I can consider initial point as x zero, as one point five. Since it is initial, so I count as iteration zero. I am not counting the firstly x one by substituting here because this is the initial. So we firstly want to check whether the one point five, that is whatever you have chosen for finding the root of the equation. You can also choose as a three. You can also choose as a two point five. You can check whether this Point is the is the root of this equation or not? How you check that? You have to compute the error. That is initially uh, initially uh, I just choose one point five as same as that of this because this is a zero equation. We can calculate the f of x one. That is f of one point five by substituting one point five here. You can calculate this. And now right now I have considered the error as this is the more so this is the absolute error. You can change them to be the A relative error also, if you want. Now, since this error is not less than of this maximum error tolerance error, so we have to move toward the next step. So, what we can do in the next step is now, since this is not the root, so we can take 1.5 here. Now, substitute this 1.5 in here. So, this is a 1.5. F of 1.5. F of 1.5 here. F dash. So, you can derivative them. What is the derivative of of this is? So, you can Uh, use the derivative of this function and then substitute the value you will get here 
Now remember that since we are working on the four decimal places, so your all calculation must be at least six decimal places. So that at the end of the convergence, you have to round off to the four decimal places. Now you have to check whether this x1 is the convergence root or not. So you have to compute f of x1 by substituting the value of x here. You will get this. Now check whether this error is it less than of this this one? It is not. So it means this this is not the root of the equation. Now we can move on the next step. Now what is the next part is uh, x0 is nothing but x1. Now you can compute the value of taking this as my x0. You can compute the value of the x1 again and then you will find here. Now check whether this is the uh, root of the equation or not. You can see again the error is not less than of this maximum error. So you can move on the third equations. So once you are moving on this third equation, what you get, you will get this root R there. And you can see this equation, this is e raised to power, e means that is a 10 raised to power minus 6. This is a 10 raised to power minus 6. This is less than of this. So we can say the root converts, the solution is converts after the, how many equations are there? 3, because this is the zero equation. So converts and you have to need up to the four decimal places, convert to be the four. Now we can do the same thing in the MATLAB. How we can do is, let's see on in the MATLAB window. So uh, let's discuss this one, find the root of this. You can start with this MATLAB code explanation. You can write each and everything from here in, on your MATLAB window easily. You can start with the format, clear all and the clear screen are there. Now you have to write the function here. So whatever the function you have taken, so if this is the function, you have to write like this here. So remember student, this is the generalized code. You can change the function f here and nothing is changed. The rest code will be same for all the other functions. So make sure that you have to define the function very carefully. So this is a function at the rate. Why, why we need the function at the rate? Uh, the advantages of this at the rate is if you want to calculate f of 3, then you can write directly as f of 3. This at the rate means the value whatever you have provided here is my x. The second point which we needed in this newton raphson method is we want to calculate the derivative. So the one way is you can calculate the derivative manually like x into log that's the u into v and so on. Once you will calculate the uh, derivative manually then you can write here as d of f is same as that of the at the rate of the x and so on. But the task is if my function is very complex then you have to calculate the differential again and again for the each problem. But there is no need for them you, for writing this. You have to use this command, this SYMS, that is called as the symbols. Symbolic symbols are there for the X. X means this is the variable. So, and the advantage of this is you can use the command DIFF. DIFF means differentiation. So you have to differentiation of this F with respect to the X. That's why this is a use for the symbolic XR. If you are, if you are unable to write this line, then di double f is it, it will give you an error so this df means the derivative of the f with respect to the x if you want to calculate the derivative second derivative then you have to write this comma 2 also it will give you the second derivative also similarly you can write as a comma 3 it will give you the third derivative so once you are writing this derivative then you want to calculate the derivative at the point x so in order to find the derivative because here, look at that. In this case, at the rate of x is not given. So, in order to define the at the rate, you have to use the function inline. So, inline of the df, I call as a df, the value at x. So, derivative, the value at x. So, this inline will give you at the rate of x automatically in along with df. So, remember, this is once you change this function f x, this will automatically change. So, that's why this is the generalized code. Now you can choose the initial point I call as the 1.5. How many equation you want or how many decimal you want is a 6. So I call as a 4 if, if there is a 4. Now in this case is a 6 you can replace to be a 6 that is a number of the decimal places. So this is the simpler one you have to initialize the parameters here. So only initialization is this one. After that my task is to complete this table. So firstly in order to draw the table you have to put the headings. So I call the heading as my variable. First one is the equation I call as the ITR. Next one is the x we need x so I call as the x then fx0 and then error is there. 
Now, in order to define the equation, I use the uh, small itr is one, set the initial counter. Error, how you define the error is absolute value of, look at that, absolute value of the fx0. Since my function is defined as a f, so I can call as the absolute of this, compute the initial error. What is the left part is x we already defined as the 1.5, fx0 is there. Now you can define the error, error as we discussed in the theory is there, half into 10 power minus n. So since n we already defined the previous, so this is the maximum tolerance error up to the n decimal places. Similarly, you can define the maximum number of the equations you want to run. So I, you can set as a 70, you can set as a 100 and so on. Now let's see on the MAT, MATLAB how the newton raphson method works. So what is the first condition for the newton raphson method is the first derivative should be non-zero at the point. So you have to check that. So look at that, what is the dfx is derivative at the point x. Now my initial point is my x0. So you have to compute the derivative. Since it is, it must be the non-zero. So I called this zero as a very large number, very small number, sorry. So 10 raised power minus nine. You can change them to be the 10 raised power minus 11 and so on. It, it will give you derivative should be non-zero. If this condition does not, if this condition holds, derivative is less than of this. It means they are approximately zero. If they are approximately zero, it means there is a wrong choice of the initial guess. So you have to change the value of the x zero. If this does not satisfy, then you have to start the loop. That is, equation is this and else error will be there. So what we have seen in that, we have to find the x one. What is the rule is fx uh, x zero, f function at the point x zero, derivative value. So this is the dfx at the point x zero. Compute the new root by using newton raphson method. Once you are defining this, then you have to compute the error. After finding the error, you have to, this is the line used for only the printing purpose. As we discussed in the last bisection, regular false and second method, the same syntax I use. Look at that, here is the array. So this is the first hg. Since, since the initial value of hg is not defined, so you have to define, look at that hg as my zero. Now, since this is the matrix, it is an array, so you can't define zero. So this is the empty matrix is there. So, and this is the ITR, that is the equation. X zero is save as X zero, FX zero and the error are there. This is only for the printing purpose. If you don't want to print the result, you have, you have to delete this line. After that, now you want to move this. So what you can do is you have to update the equation counter so that it will goes to the second equation third. But what is the most important thing is you have to set update the points are there x0 as a because once you are right once the loop will be reaching at this point this will need the x0 so you have to set x0 as the x1 so this is the end of this neutral option method that is simple writing in these three four lines are there but if you want to print the results how you can print the them you have to write this line also if you don't want to print the line you have, your code will be end here but if you want to print the results then you have to display the output as output table with the equation wise for this you because my hg is the array so you have to convert array to the table because my task is to 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 print this array uh, print this table as we discussed in the first initial initial slides that is the equation then x then fx0 then the error is there so you have to use the array to table so this will give you that table form now in order to make them heading like equation x fx zero and so on how you move how you print the heading of the table is whatever you have stored if you result is stored in the form of the capital r e s l t you have to use the same name here it makes sure that student the p must be the capital v here is the capital and n must be the capital and this is the name this is the variable which you have initially stored if you go back to the previous slides you have to see that you have stored the initial as itr then x0 then fx0 so you have to use the same name here once you are printing here then you your output will be like this way here the first column will be the itr then your will be x then your will be fx0 then your will be the error v so this is the heading and after that the values are will be here for the now, last part is you have to convert your up to the n decimal places because, for example, in this question, it is asked that you have to compute up to the six decimal places or four decimal places. So you have to convert this. What is the meaning of the REM is this will be the remainder. 
so as you all of you know that if for example if you divide 3 with respect to the 2 so what will be the remainder is there that's the 1 because once you divide 3 with respect to 2 the remainder is 1 similarly if i just say 10 comma 3 what is the remainder of this is 1 because if you divide 10 with respect to 3 the remainder is 1 so same thing for here whatever the root you have find you have to remainder 10 raised power minus of 6 so that is the, all those part which are outside of the 6 decimal will be truncated finally you can print the solution converse solution after how many iterations are there this you can also change them to be itr of minus 1 because uh, in this case i set as initial counter 0 so that is not meaning so that's why you can use iteration minus 1 instead of the itr finally you can print the root like this way what is the meaning of this decimal 2 uh, on the left hand side of the decimal is whatever the result it will give you before the decimal is give you the two point view like say 31 point something if you write here as a three it will give you the three decimal places three digits 0 3 1 bit. and what is the meaning of the nine is it give you the nine decimal uh, digits after the decimals are there for example if your roots will be like this way three four one three two three uh, now it's at six decimal but you write has a nine so the remaining three digits will be 0 bit because it will write as a 2.9 2, .9, 2 uh, 3 comma 9 so 3 here so uh, if you want to learn more you can simply change them to be 9 to be a 7 and then run the same code you will see the result will be up to here and so on so that's the end of this matlab code regarding the printing of there so i hope you can simply learn this you can simply write this code in your matlab file make sure that this is a generalized code you have to change only for the function bit. We will see in the next class that is how to write the MATLAB code for the Gauss elimination method. Till then, you can find the other videos related to this MATLAB programming on the numerical methods or the optimization technique. You can simply click on this link or find the this name on the uh, YouTube. You can find this channel is there. Till then, best of luck students. Happy learning.